It takes a hose three minutes to fill a rectangular aquarium eight inches long, 11 inches wide, and 13 inches tall, as shown here. How long will it take the same hose to fill an aquarium measuring 23 inches by 30 inches by 35 inches, pictured below? To determine the rate at which the aquarium is being filled, we first have to find the volume of this smaller aquarium, where we know the volume is equal to the length times the width times the height, and therefore the volume is equal to 8 inches times 12 inches times 13 inches, which is equal to 1,248 cubic inches. And now we can express the flow rate of the hose or the rate at which the aquarium is being filled. We can express the rate two ways. One way to express the rate is three minutes per 1,248 cubic inches, or we can say the rate is 1,248 cubic inches per three minutes. Now we could simplify these rates or find the unit rates, but if we do that in round and then perform another calculation with these rates and then round again, there will be more of an error. Let's leave these rates as they are. The next step is to find the volume of the larger aquarium shown here, where the volume of the large aquarium is equal to 23 inches times 30 inches times 35 inches, which is equal to 24,150 cubic inches. And now to determine how long it will take to fill this larger aquarium, we will take this volume and multiply by one of these rates. Let's first write this volume as a fraction with a denominator of one. To decide which rate to use, remember, we want the units of cubic inches to simplify out, and since we have cubic inches in the numerator here, we will use the rate where we have cubic inches in the denominator, which is this first rate of three minutes per 1,248 cubic inches. Notice how we have cubic inches divided by cubic inches, and therefore cubic inches simplify out, leaving us the time in minutes, which is how long it will take to fill this aquarium. So now determining the product, in the numerator we have 24,150 times three, in the denominator, we have 1,248, and now the units are minutes. And now let's evaluate this quotient on the calculator, and we are told to round to the nearest minute. We need the numerator in parentheses. We have open parenthesis 24,150 times three, close parenthesis, divided by 1,248. Running to the nearest whole number or nearest minute, because we have a zero in the tenths place value, we round down, the time is approximately 58 minutes. So it takes approximately 58 minutes to fill this larger aquarium with the same hose that filled the smaller aquarium. I hope you found this helpful.